Hi everyone and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Trade of the Day for May 10th, 2016, presented by thestockswoosh.com. Before we get into today's trade, I'd like to remind you coming up this Monday, the 16th at 4.30, make 300k per year trading on the side of institutional money, a very important webinar that you don't want to miss. Let's go on and take a look at today's trade. For today's trade, Melissa had the trade of the day on GPS. Let's listen to Melissa go through the trade. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review GPS. This was the Stock Swoosh show top pick today in the room. And guess what? It worked. As you know, I love to short. I finally have my beautiful, fabulous new computer set up. Reconfiguring my hotkeys and my charts was, well, quite a situation, and I still don't have everything perfect. But we all go through these processes and changes. It's part of trading, and when you first get started, you have to make sure everything is just the way that you like it. And then if you upgrade your system, which is what I recently did, you have to still make sure everything is exactly the way you like it. So I was happy, though, to have the first day of my new system be an amazing gap, which was what? GPS. So here you have it. Beautiful move down in here. You see where this is? Dropped, open, fell. Target was $19, it went there. Broke it by two pennies, but this basically went $19 today was the number. I wouldn't be in this anymore today. Could this set up again today? Maybe. If it does, next target's 1816, 1880, 1850. This probably doesn't go past 1860 today. This has to rally back and hold this area for a late afternoon trade. But I'm gonna go over the morning trade with you. And as you know, I prefer to trade in the morning. Beautiful entry right in here, right out of the gate. You could have taken it. Could have taken it in here again, got the drop. Eight cents from the target, got to get out of either the whole thing or half or 75% Why? into the morning. Again, I like to trade and be out quick, quick, quick. So this is a great first trade for me to practice on my brand new computer. I'm really excited today. And all the charts seem to be working accurately, which I'm thrilled with. And I can see everything so big. Now, I will tell you that I've had another setup. Guess what? It had another setup in here when it based and based and based. This is late, but if you didn't get the morning train, if you missed it, you could have reshorted this in here. You could have done a tight, tight stop in here, or you could have given it the cushion. But after this pop up in here and the basing, it broke down again. And here you see it really a lot better in the 15 minute. Right here under 25, you could have taken it over the 15 minute, or you could have taken it in here on the five minute up here at 29, 28. Either way, this had great entries here with good stops. So the first initial entry had like a 20 cent stop. Depending on whether you took it tight in here, it could have had a 15 cent stop or a 20, 25 cent stop, depending on whether you put the stop over here, here, or here. So usually for me, I'm pretty tight in the morning, okay? Knowing that the stock has to drop right away, which I was this morning. As the day goes on, I'm not as tight with my stops. I usually give them a cushion like the stop in here in the afternoon play, which I did do a late play in this today because again, I was working on getting my hotkeys configured. I did do a late play in this today with a stop at 60, but there's been days where I've done tighter entries in this later. So the tighter entry stop would have been 45. Again, 29 by 45. I ended up doing 29 by 60, but that's still 30 cents. So 30 cents is still a good entry in something like this because it has the potential to drop and break 19. It didn't. I ended up taking this down in here and got out of the target. And I was happy for that because, again, to get two trades in this today was really nice. So you could have done the first trade out, you could have done the second trade out, you could have done the first trade and taken the second trade. And you could have really maximized your profits in this GPS today if you did it twice. So I was happy to do that. It was a great day to trade for the first time on my new computer. Very excited. Things are finally getting on track here. And if you're interested in more information and would like to learn how to trade with me, how to pick gaps like GPS, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Again, I pick the best gap almost every single solitary day. And if there's nothing to do, I say that in the room as well. I usually only do one stock pick a day. I might do two trades in a light today. I usually do one trade in it. But every once in a while, you have something that sets up a second time. This could set up or between now and 2 o'clock this afternoon and actually be another short. But I'll tell you, if it does, it's going to break 19 and break it hard. So it has the potential. So good luck, everyone. If you're interested in more information about the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, May 14th and 15th. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everybody. I have a fantastic, fantastic day. 
All right, thank you for that, Melissa. Folks, to do trades like that and understand how to trade on the power of money every single day and to be only trading the first 30 or 60 minutes of the trading day and to call it a day, you need to take the Golden Gap course. This is being presented this weekend coming up. It's a full weekend course, May 14th and 15th from 9 to 5. It's an online course. Contact at the email or phone number below, 929-3200-GAP, or email at info at the or melissa at the stockswish.com to sign up for this course during this week. If you sign up by this Friday, you'll also get the Wealth Manifestation class for free, a savings of $399. Come join and learn how to trade like this in the Golden Gap course.